And we're live on Monday with Lee Sua. Hello, <laughs> one and all. How are oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> it's Monday in Corona Kitchen. <laughs> Yeah. working, you know. He's like, I, I know that song. <laughs> yeah, that song. <laughs> yeah, our little theme. Yay! It's it's nice to be back, but I'm rusty. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? It's so crazy. Yeah, but um, but good. We made it. Um, how are happy you? MLK Day. <laughs> happy MLK Day. Happy uh, Michelle Obama birthday. Happy mm -hmm. Betty White's. Uh, have it's a, a big day all the way around. 300th birthday. Yeah. Yeah. I, I did a little political activism today. Of course you did. What did you do? <laughs> um, I made phone calls to Joe Manchin's office with Common Cause. So, I mean, I don't know if we're going to be able to do anything, but we're we're not going to be able to do anything if we don't do anything so 100 percent. yeah you were doing well Brianna, i want everyone to know she does the lord's work for us all today <laughs> for democracy just so you know she does if you didn't know. thanks i'm helping <laughs> what are you doing well i'm working a massive yeah. job right now <laughs> yeah you have a job a lunch break <laughs> And um, so, <laughs> fortunately, I have Ronan helping me today. Say hi. Hello. Hi, Ro. Yeah, I got a, I got a sushi. Yeah. Um, otherwise, take it for granted. <laughs> don't take it for granted. He says. Anyway, um, so <laughs> I have prepared um today when we were having technical difficulties. I made it quick pie crust because <laughs> you can easily buy okay we're making quiche today i'm making two different kinds um cool i was going to make spinach gruyere but they didn't have any spinach at the market so they were out what? thanks yeah. trader joe's so thanks trader joe's so we got uh broccoli so it's going to be mm -hmm. broccoli cheddar and oh then i love broccoli i'm going to do a shallot um mushroom Gruyere. Yeah. So it's going to be two different kinds. Well, at least they had the cheese. <laughs> they had the cheese. They had the eggs. They had the heavy cream. They had the butter. Um, I am right now this heavenly smell. Okay. Here's a tip for anyone who's just learning how to cook. If you take butter, white wine, salt, pepper, parsley, and garlic, and just add it to anything, it will be delicious. You have deliciousness happening. Yes. <laughs> I'm just sauteing the mushrooms now. You could put the stuff in raw to your quiche, okay? But I don't like that. I don't know about you. Like I'm not the raw. Person. I don't do that in my omelets. I don't do that on my pizza. No, not nothing raw. No, no, no. I'm not. I don't do that either because that's like the frightening American omelet feel that I don't like. I don't either. When you go to Denny's. So I <laughs> prefer shout out to Denny. Shout out to Denny's. I prefer yeah. to do you know I'm not over sauteing these mushrooms, but just enough so they're cooked, they have flavor. Well and they've released their water so <laughs> that you're when they would cook inside your quiche, they're not like making it all runny. See, yeah. see the tips you learn on Corona Kitchen? These are simple things. We don't learn as Americans. We just don't. If you if you grew up in a household that taught you these things, good for you. But a yeah. lot of people don't, and you get a yucky, watery, ruined yeah. that way, and flavorless. P.S. Yeah. So uh, on 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 top of it, <laughs> we don't want to happen to you. So um, that this is we go the extra mile on Corona Kitchen to help you. Okay. So right now I'm just going to show everybody. Here's my um. Sauteing mushrooms, and you know, I could even add a little flour to this if I wanted to make it a little bechamel y and all, but but you know, the smell mm. is heavenly. So I'm doing that with the mushrooms, and I'm also going to do it with the broccoli because I don't like raw broccoli. I don't either. I don't like it on a crudite plate. I don't eat it raw. <laughs> it's, dope. it's hard to digest. It's gross. 
Um, <laughs> no, no, I like it. And here, Wonder of Wonders, our two part, part gorgeous. Eight. Um, now pie crust. Let's talk about pie crust for a second. Now, it's in our cookbook. Woo! In our cookbook, we have and like Chef Ollie's magical pie magic crust. pie crust. Ollie Ludwig's magical pie crust. He's a member of Corona Kitchen and a chef. So, you know, come May third, you're gonna get that pie crust recipe. <laughs> Um, you know, and and I'm not going to knock anyone who wants to buy an already made crust. You want to, like, quiche is so tasty and delicious. You could just buy a crust if you want. You know, you, you can't. Um, but if you have a few minutes, it's so easy to throw a pie crust together. And it tastes mm -hmm. so good, you know. Especially so, if you have a Cuisinart. Oh, my God. Two seconds. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Couple hours. Forget about it. Take it out. Roll it out. You're done. And so what I did was um, this recipe that my mom, Franny, swears by, and I don't even know where she got it. It's a morph of a lot of different things, but she uses vodka from the freezer. That's what I use. I'm a vodka pie crust girl. See the things Debrion and I have in common. We wear black sweaters on the same day. <laughs> we don't tell each other. You know what the, the thing about the vodka is? This is why it makes, this is my understanding about why it makes a tender pie crust. Why does it do it? Because the vodka holds like a, like a molecular place. And then when you cook it, it evaporates off. So it makes it flaky. It does something. Mm -hmm. It definitely does. It definitely does. It does. Those are beautiful. More? Oh my God. Do all of them. All of them? Yeah. Do all the shallots. Beautiful yeah. chopping skills over here. I'll show you. Um, anyway, the mushrooms are almost done. They're it's starting to get a little glazy with the butter. It's not watery anymore. All the water's cooked out. They're just going to be tasty and delightful. So that's going to be the thing. So, so what I do for pie crust, it's so simple. It's just flour, a little bit of salt. Um, Butter, I don't do lard, but you could if you want yeah. or the vegetable shortening. Or vegetable shortening, yep. You no, know, you can do that. If I had it, I probably would use half and half. That's um, how I like it, half and half. I just did all butter, and then I did mm -hmm. um, like three tablespoons of vodka, and you just throw it in the tweez Cuisinart, <gasps> pulse it until it gets like the, the little particle, pea, not, little, tiny little. They always say pea size, but I think it's a little bit. It's not pea. They're it's not like pea. petite pea. They're smaller. They're smaller. It's petite They're pea. Like, yes. <laughs> They're like, I don't baby know. Baby pea. Baby peas. Yes, baby peas. And then you scoop it out and you put it together. You don't knead it or anything. You just form it into a disc with the plastic wrap tight. And then you just put it in the fridge. And that's what makes it flaky. You don't want to over knead it. You don't want to over roll it. You don't have to do anything. You just form it till it forms. And then you just stick it in there. I, it was in there for like two hours until I. I think you really need to let it rest at least 30 minutes. But it can be in there. It can easily be in there overnight. Or you could freeze it. And then if you're not going to use two, you can make two pie crusts and freeze, freeze a disc. You could easily do that. Okay. So then, um, put it in, and then when we're ready to go, just flour, breadboard. So did you blind bake it for a few minutes? I did. I, okay. I, I took it out of the fridge, rolled it, put it in a pie um, dish, and then poke it with a fork or use the pie little um, cement things if you have them or pie weight so you don't want it to, you know, uh, get well, up. Yeah. Up. And then um, I did a 425 for like eight minutes. Okay. You know, it's like a little bit cooked, not brown. It's just like, what do they say? Par baked, right? Yeah, it's a par baked. Yeah. Because you don't want it to be raw when you put in the egg mixture. Right. So, right. Um, so okay, my mushrooms are done. So then those are out cooling. You set them to the side. Then mm -hmm. all you have to do is whip up. The quiche ingredients, which is really easy. And I think I'm just going to do um, one right now because it's ready to go. You know, the okay. broccoli one I'm going to have to do after that. But basically what you do is 
Then you turn the oven down to 325, not, it was at 425, you turn it down 100 degrees to bake the quiche, because you're baking the custard, that's what it's Yeah. Like. Custard with vegetables or meat in it. Quiche right. grain, got ham and cheese. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Thank you. We like ham and cheese. I think we're done. Let's everybody thank Rona for Thank you. Hey, Ro Ronan did a great job in the cookbook, so when you guys see the ratatouille, Think of Ro. Thank you. <laughs> and was an assistant sweet. on our photo shoot and incredible, <laughs> incredible support. Thank you so much. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so the one I'm going to make right now is the mushroom uh, cheese cheese one. So, okay, oh God. <laughs> Just got a little pain here for a second. Do Brianna talk about something? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so my favorite quiche, when I was working in a um, McAndrews restaurant, which I tell stories about in the cookbook, um, uh, we used to, quiche was kind of new, mm -hmm. and people would call it the weirdest things, like queechy, or I'll have the quickie. That was hard not to laugh at. Um, <laughs> I mean, you remember, remember when we were younger, everyone, there was that saying, like, real men don't eat quiche or whatever. Yeah, and yeah, they do. It's delicious. <laughs> like, shade <laughs> on the quiche. Why? Why? Serious. It's very oh, it's it's and we fun. always had spinach. We had spinach mushroom with Gruyere at the restaurant that I worked at. It's my fave. Yum. That is delicious. So anyway, I'm going to take out this um, mushroom. This so do you do your eggs separate? Like, do you do the whites and the um, yolk separate? Here's how I do it. I don't do that. You could. Um, I just slap this puppy together. Basically, awesome. <laughs> I mix the cream with the eggs, with the salt and pepper, cayenne, chipotle, whatever, you know, whatever kind of, I like to do a tiny little bit of chili in it, you know. Because of course we do. Sometimes even on chopped jalapeno, I just like a tiny little chili. Chili, let's, let's just say chili, C-H-I-L-I. <laughs> or chili, or C-H-I-L. E. And so, you decide. <laughs> uh, I what I do is I just layer. So like right now, I'm gonna take um, some butter and just cook these shallots, not all the way, but I leave. I left them. They're like this size. They're perfect little like Debriana when she makes her matchstick size. Oh, pretty. You know, just so you just take some butter, and of course I have like you know Kerrygold. Uh, Good but, butter. But like high fat content butter, and I put I'm gonna put uh probably this looks like about a tablespoon in there, and then we're gonna saute these shallots, um, and there are about this is enough for two two of my quiches, so I would say that was four regular size. <laughs> yes, we like it hot. It's true. <laughs> we do. So this is gonna just. Saute down a little bit, and what I do is you just take the shell and you put the sauteed shallot on the bottom, just you know, mm -hmm. and then whatever vegetables you're doing, you just layer. Like then I'll put the mushrooms on top of that, then I'll put the cheese on top of that, and then I'll take the um, egg mixture, which is going to be four eggs, one and a quarter cups heavy cream. I'm going to do a pinch of nutmeg, salt and pepper, probably some just cayenne pepper, and that's it. Whisk it up, pour it over, put it in the oven for 50 And so four, is four eggs with that much cream making two quiches? No, that's just for one. One quiche. Okay. Per quiche. Four eggs per quiche. And I'll, and I'll write the recipe and post it for everybody. Um, mm. but yeah. But like right now, this sautéing shallots and butter. Mm, the best house, thing ever. The house smells really good right now. And the. And so are you wilting them or are you going to caramelize them? What are you doing? I'm, I'm just caramelizing them a little bit. Not, you know, you can go as far as you want, but I just don't want raw shallots in there. Right. I'm just cooking them down, softening them. You could easily caramelize them. I'm probably just going to make them you know, translucent and cooked. And the, uh, for shallots, for some reason, I don't, I don't know why this, the differences between that and an onion, although it happens with an onion too. It just seems like shallots gets, 
get very sweet the more you caramelize them. It's sweeter than an onion. It it makes a difference to do the shallot. Just try yeah, it. It, yeah, it's, it's more, more mellow than onion for yeah. sure. If you've yeah. actually done it, it's just a really subtle onion flavor. Mm, so good. You know, you can. The sky is the limit with the quiche. You can do yep. you can take this egg cream mixture. You can add. You can do. You know, ham and cheese. You could do any kind of herb and cheese. You can do. Mm -hmm. um, all kinds of veggies. Veggies, you know, if there's so many delicious ones, you could put a salmon in it. You could do mm -hmm. you know, chicken. You could do whatever you want. Great so, way also to use leftovers. If oh you have God. a little bit of leftover chicken and some vegetables, you know, it's a great way to do to to do leftovers. And also, it's great for parties because you can bring mm -hmm. up a beautiful thing. It stays in the fridge for least a couple of weeks even probably I, you can freeze it um and it makes people really happy because it tastes mm -hmm. good. and you can serve some of them you can serve at room temp it they don't have to be hot right exactly so, so i'm cooking these down and i'm going to show you just the build but i'm not going to put it in yet because i still have to make my other quiche um, but are you going to steam the broccoli then or saute it or what are you doing? I'm going to saute it kind of like the mushrooms just in this yeah. way with, with garlic. Pro I might put, um, well, usually with broccoli, how I like to eat it anyway is steamed with lemon juice, olive oil, and salt mm -hmm. um, and parme a little Parmesan. And and then when you, when you put the um, egg mixture over your vegetables, you can put another layer of cheese if you want. Um, mm -hmm. or a little, uh, and you can use all kinds of cheeses too. Oh my God. Yeah. And I'll probably do a fine grating of Parmesan on top, even though I'm using these other cheeses. Um, but yeah, God, every cheese in the world you can experiment with. In mm -hmm. this, you know, um, I mean, I would say Gruyere is the most traditional because um, it is a French thing, not mm -hmm. an American dish. but. Um, but yeah, so here we go. It's like a little palette. <laughs> yes, it is. I mean, look, look. At how, look how beautiful these these are. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. No, oh my god, it smells so good. So that was the mushrooms. This is going to be tasty. So what are you going to serve it with? Are you making a salad or anything or soup? A salad with some vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. we'll have it with soup. And, yeah, and you you make one and you've got like dinner for a week. And yeah, right. So it's in, in these times when we're so busy and don't want to cook or whatever, but it you know make your own crust. It's so good if you do. It's fun. You could do it. You can do it. But um, <laughs> I will I will take pictures. Okay. Um, you'll see the finished product. You'll hear about it. Um, I can't wait. <laughs> super yummy. Um, but here's like, you know, I have my broccoli prepped, I, you know, and I don't put them in big pieces. This is yeah. like small because you don't want to eat a big clunky piece of broccoli. So I would, yeah. you know, smaller piece. Mm -hmm. but, um, really very small bite size is probably yeah. right. Yeah. Bite yeah. size pieces. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Yay. That's all you do. Well, thanks for hanging out with us, girlfriend. I know. I'm so happy to see you. And um, just hey, you know, I'm just gonna plug this along. That we are um, not past uh, having to do uh, political action, people. Okay. Uh, so we have to do our our calling. We, you know, do do what you can um, because we we really we have to pass the voter protections and or or we're really 100%. messed up so i called with common cause today what i like about them is when you call people you you always say i'm not part of a this isn't part of a political group we're educating people about the bill and so you, you have a lot more opportunity to have conversation with people and educate them about what's in the bill and uh it's super easy and I love the people that I call with whenever I get in call groups they're really fun and um, you know everybody's all working together it's really a good time now I, I will pass this tip along also 
Um, a lot of the call um, times, the Zooms are set up for two hours. You don't have to do the whole two hours. If you can only join for 15 minutes, if you can join for, you know, 45 minutes, whatever time you can give, um, you can you could get in probably 30 calls in 20 minutes if, really if you're not, you know, yeah. chatting a lot. How fast it goes these days and the technology they have, they do all the work for you. You don't have to do anything. It's really easy. Yeah. It's, it's super easy and and um and and it's worth it every it, honestly every bit counts so that's my plug for tonight <laughs> i just want to show you i just put the shallots in the shell oh nice just line them on the bottom and see you just it, and then add the stuff it's just yeah. it's simple any yeah. idiot, any idiot can do it <laughs> <laughs> you're an idiot no <laughs> Um, but anyway, yeah, it's all thanks. good. Well, thanks for taking a break in your work, Jay, because I know you're working. Yes, and I, I appreciate it. it. We appreciate it. And that's we appreciate it. Uh, works for me, the working yeah. people. <laughs> yeah. Yep, we're working people, and it, and it's we get to hang out with you guys, so it's good. <laughs> thanks for watching. We'll be back next hey. Monday with Debrion. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, I'll sort of post this tomorrow um, with the different stages and the recipe. So have a great okay. night. Have a good week, you guys. Adios, amigos. <laughs>